Uh, hello, welcome to our DZAS project. I am Alex Okolowski. And I am Aiden Mar Jacobson. Our school code is 052617, and we are doing Varsity Graphics. Our play is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. So our publicity plan is split into two separate plans, technically, uh, which include finances and advertisement. We'll start with finances. For finances, our budget is consisting of $500. And to raise profits, we have many plans, such as throwing fundraisers at school which or at a restaurant. These fundraisers at school could be selling baked goods, a raffle, or just selling pizza. And for fundraisers that would be held in restaurants, who are willing to let us in, of course, uh, we would only take 20% of the profits that people would pay for when showing a flyer. The raffle would be done at school. However, a part of the original budget would have to be placed into raffle prizes. To have more people enter, we could, of course, just ask for donations for our publicity, though we do believe that this will instead give us the opposite effect and we won't have many donations. Obviously, we'll put up flyers around the school to advertise the program, but flyers will also go around the area near the school and possibly around the city. The fee would mainly go to printing for this, so we would also have to pay $10 for advertisements on YouTube, so local areas. A newspaper advertisement would cost around $12 an inch for local paper, and we do plan to have a space consisting of 2 inches by 4 inches, which would cost us a sum of $60. In total, the outcome price for everything would only be of about $210, minus printing fees, and since we have a plan to have YouTube advertisements for 15 days before and throughout the set date of the program. And for the raffle, a good price for all of them would be about $200 for all the prizes you could win. So the end price would be around $210. So for advertising, we also have fundraisers. Uh, the fundraisers that take place and outside of the school can in itself attract the attention of people who have nothing to do with the school or the program itself, and also can have help out with uh, funding. A raffle could also get the attention of the outside public. However, the raffle would have to be done in a public place outside of school, maybe a park or a conference hall, somewhere that a person from the public could come into and get into the raffle. Though we believe that the raffle would likely only have people from inside the school to participate in it. Advertisement. Our main source of advertising will be going into the ad for the local paper, which would ask that families and people of all ages to come see their the production. However, sadly, the ad won't be too large. Our second main source of advertising will go into flyers being posted around the area of the school and possibly the city too. The third main way for us to advertise is through YouTube. Advertisements, which we'd purchase and make for 15 days beginning 12 days before the actual production and three days throughout the days of production. We will also have the option to ask local news and radio stations if we could come in and talk about our play, which wouldn't really cost us anything. It was just like, unless it was an ad. Um, hopefully, they would be willing to let us talk about it. So summing up the prices for the plan, the bakery fundraisers, it's about... $4 per cookie box and $4 per donut box. And if we sold each cookie for like a dollar, there are 12 and there are $12 in each box. Uh, and if we were selling the donuts for a dollar and there are 12 donuts per box, we'd have a max profit of $48 for three boxes of cookies and three boxes of donuts. If we do this for five days, our max profit will be around $240. For our restaurant fundraiser, it really depends on the prices of meals, the people output, and what percent we're able to receive. But nonetheless, it'll only raise the profits and we won't lose any money. For a raffle fundraiser, our price tickets, we could sell around to $6 and have prices go up to $200. We can lose or gain with this one depending on how many people would be willing to enter and how many tickets a person is willing to buy. And for the local paper advertisement, the fee for the advertisement would be $12 per inch. And we don't want to take up too many space or too little. We're going to, for a 2 by 4 measurement of ad space, which would cost us around $60. And for YouTube ads, these ads would be priced at $10 a day for a located ad, which we plan to have for 15 days to get as many people interested. 
This ad would cost us around $150. So all in all, the original fund was $500. The bakery fundraiser would raise us to $240. Restaurant fundraiser that varies on restaurant and also just percentage. Raffle fundraiser uh, varies, but raffle would cost about $200 for all the prizes. Newspaper ad would cost us $60, and YouTube ads would cost us $150. Final funds, $330 left of the fund, only $410 spent minus printing fees. The first page of the playbill, to the left, is the cover. It is a grave with the show title on it and a walking stick leaning against it. This is representative of many things that are inside the show uh, and foretelling of what will be to come. The page to the right describes the scenes from the beginning of Act 1 to the intermission. The next page continues these scenes from the beginning of Act 2 to the finale. The page after that is the cast of actors who are acting in the play. This even includes the ensemble. After that, there is the production staff. And that is all for the playbill. This is our poster. It shows, it depicts our main character walking down a dark hallway with an only light source being his lantern. The lantern itself represents the present. Within the lantern, you can see some blue wisps, which represent the past. And the Darkness on his feet is him tra walking into the future, which are all three themes that are expressed in the play. The show dates would be from December 21st to December 25th at the Pierre Tombard Theater. Thank, Thank you for, you for your time. time.